heck do you review a bag of chips? How do you pour this in a glass? Hello everybody, my name is Arctic Conquest. Welcome back to another review I got today. The Takis Blue Heat. Been looking for these for a while and I found them. So we're gonna review them after we look at some calories. Um, four servings per bag. 140 calories a serving. So about 12 pieces, 140 calories. That's kind of a lot. Well, here's the rest of them if you really want to look. I'm gonna crack them open now. How do you re how do you review chips? I don't understand the concept behind this. I haven't sniffed any yet, but look at that. Look at that. Very interesting. Well, here's my initial smell test. I don't know how to review foods, guys. Bear with me here. I smell like regular Takis. Then I gotta mix up the, the juices, even though there's no juices in this. I don't know what I'm doing. They really just smell like Fuego. Maybe a little less spice intensive, I guess. They really don't smell that much different. Now here's the chip itself. It kind of just looks like a regular Taki, but this weird aqua blue color. Kind of like it though, the way it looks. This bag won't sit up, there we go. Yeah, it just smells like Fuego. I gotta take another one, hold on. Hot chili pepper tortilla chips. These taste exactly like Fuego, except they have no lime. Exactly like Fuego, like, I mean, other than the little bit of like a sour pinch Fuego gives you when you, uh, like when you swallow, this is, this doesn't have that. It just has the pepper spice flavor that Fuego has. I would say I'm disappointed, yeah. It tastes exactly like Fuego. I mean, they taste good. They taste fine, they taste like Fuego. Would I recommend these? No, not really. I mean, they taste just like Fuego, they just don't have the lime. I guess if you really don't like how sour the Fuego flavor can be, these are for you. But, I mean, I never see these anywhere. And Fuego is literally everywhere. So, it, it'll be a pass on these for me in the future. And it's really sad. I'm actually disappointed. These sounded so cool. Blue heat, blue Takis. What the heck does that mean? I don't know. But still. Uh, the scale out of 1 to 10, 8. They taste fine. They, they taste good. But I am disappointed because of how hyped up I was for these. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye-bye. Okay, so about 15 to 20 minutes later, I'm back with some a little more in-depth thoughts. Now, I said they don't have much as much lime. They're not as sour, but they almost have a flavor that you would like put with sour, but they're not sour, if like, that makes any sense. And they're not as hot as Fuego. They're like... So I'll put like, I'll say Fuego is like on a scale of seven out of 10 heat wise is a seven. These would be a six. They're just one step under Fuego and heat. Now, that being said, you can eat these for a significantly longer amount of time than you could the Fuego. So these aren't as sour and like, your eyes are gonna pop out of your head and your lips are gonna twist up and seal. And so <laughs> they're not bad. They're just, they're not as hot as Fuego. And they're, to me, to me, they are not nearly as sour and like eye bulging, butt puckering, you know? That's how regular Fuego is to me. Like, that's why I don't really eat Takis all that often because they're just too hot and sour. Like, I just, I don't know. I prefer hot Cheetos. These, on the other hand, maybe I would grab these because they aren't uh, that sour, mouth twisting, like, just, eh, like regular Fuego is. So, I mean, eh. I will get these again. I, earlier I did say I would pass on these. So, uh, 
I'm not gonna pass on them. I will get them. I suppose I didn't, they were a disappointment to me. So I didn't give them unbiased thoughts. So here I am a couple minutes later giving some unbiased opinions. And these are not bad. They are just, get, if you get these, do not expect anything super inventive or creative. They're pretty cut and dry, regular Taki flavor. I'm, that's what disappointed me, was the fact that there is no originality in these. And if I see a new product that's getting promoted everywhere, I want it to be new and original and something I've never had before. And these just didn't live up to that expectation I had. So now here's the real wrap up of this review. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next review. Pick these up if you're interested.